Here comes the pitch. Swings. It's a hit into center field. The sounds of baseball would fill the air here 90 years ago in center field. But now it's a playground in Oppenheimer Park. But in 1914, it was the Powell Grounds, home of the Asahi, the legendary Japanese Canadian baseball team. Asahi, Japanese for morning sun, was a superlative championship team that was the pride and joy of the Japanese Canadian community. At this year's Powell Street Festival, former Asahis gathered to reminisce and share their experiences. In 1941, Kei Kamanishi was an Asahi rookie. Well, those days, this, uh, they used to call the Paul Grand, you see. In those days, the Grand wasn't uh, good as uh, nowadays. There are a lot of pebbles was with uh, dirt and sand. So uh, when they hit the ball to third base, don't know where the ball is going to. To over the head or side, or you know. So always the coach told me that if you can't stop, stop by grabs, you gotta stop by chest. Stop it. You gotta stop the ball. World War II stopped the ball for the Asahi. In 1941, immediately after Pearl Harbor, the Canadian government evacuated and interred all people of Japanese ancestry. The Japanese Canadian community was physically destroyed, and the Asahi never played another game. But baseball was in the hearts and souls of Japanese Canadians. Even while interred, many Asahi and their supporters formed new teams, and baseball began to thrive in the camps. The history of the Asahi and its legacy is documented by Pat Adachi, whose father inspired her book. Uh, he was a fan, and we had no boys in our family. So from the time I was about eight years old, he used to take me to all the ball games. And so that's how I grew up on baseball. He is 96 years old today, mentally very alert. He can tell you more about the Asahi baseball team than anybody else. So I thought, well, as a gift to him, I wrote the book. In its most difficult hour, the Japanese-Canadian community turned to baseball. The Asahi legacy can be found in the smiles and memories of players and fans. Though the team disbanded in 1941, the Asahi will be a story of pride, joy, and inspiration in the folklore of Canada. I'm Sid Tan for East Side Story.